Hello and welcome to another edition of the Vintage Restorer. Um, this is part three of the Roadless Fordson Standard um, lighting kit which I've been building for it. Um, so since last time, uh, wiring loom has been laid down properly. Uh, we're going to give it a test run today. So I'll put it all back together again. Because um, the wiring loom, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it goes all over the place, but uh, there's nowhere in particular really to tie it onto. Um, so it's just going to sort of sit there. That's the ammeter. I need to cut those bolts down eventually, but it's going off for respray. So you can see the ammeters there. I've left the toolbox in in situ because you can still see and read the ammeter quite clearly. Um, it's a useful addition. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this last time. The battery. Obviously, you need a little clamp making for it, but that's it. So it earths the lighting kit, as you can see a black wire down there, and that uh, fabric black and yellow wire which earths it to the um, body of the actual tractor, and then you've got the red, which is the live. And I've just done it on bullet terminals there, so I can disconnect it easier than undoing the terminal, so you just pull them apart. It's over at only very low um, current draw, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now I think that battery, although it holds voltage, as soon as you put any load on it, it was one off of a ride on lawnmower, which I've got, um, it, it just dies so the headlights don't work so the proof in the pudding today is when I start it up and wind her up and uh, get her running is the dynamo should come on itself um, and the light should work because effectively it's trying to charge the um, yeah charge the uh, um, battery so you can see the dynamo there um, I've tidied up some of the wiring you can see I've just taped it along the spark plug wire tube one looser one up there on the uh, lighting switch, just to hold it up and out of the way. One there, one there, and bound some of the cable back up and tucked it around the back of the dynamo. And you see there's the switch, the lighting switch here, and the drive going into the front of it and the bracket, which we put in there on the last video. And she's all petrolled up, chokes on, and it's ready to go. No. There we are. All I'll do is I'll drive it out of the garage. Um, I'll get it running, um, and then we'll do the next bit of uh, bit bit of the film. running bulbs are not quite right then we've got different wattages on each side but dynamo is charging a bit lumpy at the moment it's running just on petrol 